Hi everyone. Welcome to the course. My name is Sushil and I am a back-end engineer building high scalable and distributed data systems. I have been using Google Cloud Platform, especially Dataproc for last 3 years and wanted to create a course which lowers the entry barrier for other people. I'm glad you chose to learn Apache Spark with Dataproc. Apache Spark has taken over the big data world by storm because of its highly scalable and resilient data processing architecture. In this course, we'll explore how to run Spark workloads on Google Cloud by using the Dataproc service and learn what are the benefits that we get by running on the cloud. Dataproc is a fully managed Hadoop offering by Google Cloud which includes Hadoop Spark, Pig, Hive, Presto, HBase, Android, to name a few. In this course, we'll focus mainly on Apache Spark and learn the intricacies of running Spark workloads in the cloud. This course has five modules and follows a hands-on approach. So we'll be doing a lot of hands-on exercises as we progress along in the course. In the introduction module, we'll cover how to set up a trial GCP account to follow along the hands-on exercises, and also how to set up your machine for development. In the second module, we'll start our cloud journey and we'll take a look at how to create data proc clusters and various ways to submit the jobs. In the third section, we'll cover some niceties of cloud like how we can separate compute and storage to achieve elasticity and cost effectiveness we'll cover how we can store data on google cloud storage as opposed to hdfs and use an external hive meta store to avoid data loss when we delete the cluster when it's no longer in use the fourth section will cover some performance and cost penalties that you might incur when running your workloads in the cloud and how we can mitigate them we'll also see how we can use auto scaling policies to achieve high utilization of our clusters the fifth and the final module will cover how to enable and use additional components and how to customize the cluster with the help of initialization actions we'll also cover how to run jupyter notebooks using the jupyter component and we will also cover the integration of airflow with dataproc so once again i welcome you to the course and i am pretty excited for our journey together i'll see you in the next video